thoracolumbar fascia. Today, we'll quickly go through the thoracolumbar fascia, its layers, features, and key attachments. It is the name given to the deep fascia on the back of trunk. It binds the long extensor muscle of the vertebral column, erector spinae, to the posterolateral surfaces of the vertebral bodies. For descriptive purposes, the thoracolumbar fascia is divided into two parts, lumbar and thoracic. In the lumbar region, thoracolumbar fascia is very strong and should be called lumbar fascia. Features. It consists of three strong layers, namely anterior, middle, and posterior, and fills in the gap between the 12th rib and the iliac crest. The posterior and middle layers are thick, dense, and strong, but the anterior layer is thin and not so strong. Between the posterior and middle layers lie the erector spinae. Between the middle and anterior layers lies the quadratus lumborum muscle. The three layers fuse laterally to form a dense aponeurotic sheet, which gives origin to the internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. Attachments of the anterior layer. Above. It is attached medially to the transverse process of the first lumbar vertebra, laterally to the twelfth rib, in front of quadratus lumborum, forming a thick tendinous strip called lateral lumbocostal arch. Below, eno to the iliolumbar ligament and iliac crest. Medially, to the vertical ridges on the anterior surfaces of the transverse processes of lumbar vertebrae. And that's a quick summary of the thoracolumbar fascia. If this helped, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more anatomy videos.